Happy Foam is still one of Ganol's customers' favorite products after all these years. Why do you suppose it's still so popular? I think it's because the unexpected dimension added to embroidery is still an effective way to add impact to your embroidery message. Even when it's used only as an accent, you can't take your eyes off of it. Once, I saw a golf cap embroidered with a Hawaiian golf course name and just a small butterfly accent was puffed. It looked great. That gave me the idea to puff the jalapeno pepper on a customer's restaurant logo. They loved it. Now I'll give you some tips about embroidering with puffy foam. It's always best to have your designs or lettering specially digitized for use with puffy foam by someone familiar with the density and other digitizing techniques specific to puffy foam. For instance, plain block letters must be capped on the ends or you'd have foam sticking out because there's nothing on the open end of the letter to cut the foam. It's helpful to use an edge walk underlay technique to perforate the foam before the satin stitches are applied. You will be using satin stitches in puffy foam areas. The density will be higher, meaning you'll have to place more stitches so that you can cut the foam. You can also use enclosed shapes such as bold scripts like brush script because they have naturally enclosed points. And shapes like circles, like the letter O, are naturally enclosed. Another thing to keep in mind is that when you're using foam, use a similar color to the thread color. This minimizes the appearance of any foam that may be left peeking through the stitches. So with a properly programmed design and the right color foam, the process is really simple. You just lay the foam on top of the hooped fabric and stitch the design. Some embroiderers like to spray a bit of KK100 on the reverse side of the foam to hold it in place. Then, after embroidery has been completed, just pull away the foam. If you have any hairy bits, just use a household iron along the edges or any other heat implement to shrink up the hairy edges inside the stitching. Ganold carries puffy foam in four heights, from two millimeter to six millimeter, you could really create some drama with the six millimeter. These examples have been done with three millimeter foam, and that is the most popular height. There's a design on the Puffy Foam page designed especially for use with Puffy Foam at the Ganol.com site. Download it and get started on the right foot with Puffy Foam.